today I'm gonna to show you how to make this adorable panda. It's my first pattern that I've come out with and I'm gonna walk you through how to make it. After printing out your pattern, grab some paper and scissors and cut around the edges of each pattern piece. grab your fleece. I picked white and black fleece because I'm making a white and black panda bear. Using pins and scissors, I'm going to cut out all the pattern pieces. And now for all the contrasting pieces. Don't forget the contrasting tummy. Finish sewing each piece, make sure you cut off any excess thread. Using forceps inside each piece out and add a bit of stuffing. If you're going to invest in any tool or doll making, this is the one I recommend. Interesting fabric on the tummy and the back. Sew along where indicated on the pattern. In my video I forgot to show to stay stitch along the neckline, but you can add that in. Next, add the legs and sandwich them between both pieces. Pin in place. Once you've sewn around in a U-shape, cut off the corners and turn inside out. Stuff gently, leaving half an inch at the top to fold over inside. Turn ears and tailpiece inside out. Open up your head pieces, find the notches and line up the ears with each notch. Grab your gusset and attach from the nose with a pin. Pin along the rest of the gusset, lining up the other ear notch and ending in the back of the neck. Sew along the edge. Line up the other gusset starting at the base of the neck to the ear and ending at the nose. Sew along this seam. Next, sew from neck to nose. Grab your forceps and turn the head inside out. Stuff gently and turn the bottom half inch inwards. You're ready to sew the head to the body. Start by pinning in the front and the back. Make sure the nose of the bear and the toes of the bear are heading in the same direction. Using a ladder stitch, stitch all the way around the neck. Do the same with the arms. 
items, turn them inside out, add stuffing. It's time to attach them to the body. Using a whip stitch, attach arms in place. Attach the tail by folding in about an eighth of an inch and whip stitch around the edges. Add the patches for the eyes in place. Whip stitch around each one. Next, we're going to add the nose. Put your needle through one of the patches under where the eye will be. This will hide the knot. As you embroider the nose, you can choose what size and shape you want it to be. The mouth is made by putting your needle in, putting it back up to the nose, out the side, back through the bottom, out the other side, finally back through where you started. Exit out the same hole and knot in place. It's time to add your two eyes. Whip stitch in place over where you put the knot in to make the nose. or anything else to accessorize your bear. I'll put a link in my description to add a cute little party hat. It's in my free patterns on my website. Your panda's ready. You can give him as a gift or play with him yourself. Once you've accessorized your panda, he's ready to go. The link to the pattern is in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe.